Are you looking for a math curriculum? Today, let me share a quick review and walk through a Rod and Staff math curriculum. Hello, my name is Heather from Wholehearted Homemaking, where I talk all things homeschool, homemaking, and motherhood related. Today, I wanted to talk to you about something that is um, hard for some of us to find, finding that right math program. And I don't know what the right math program is for you, so I'm sorry I can't give you that, but I can give you some of our experience with a couple of different programs. And today, I'm starting a quick search a short series on different math programs we've used and our review of them and that would be rod and staff we actually started with singapore math for kindergarten and first grade and it was not a great fit for my oldest um, she wasn't getting the basic maths then because god turned our wheels we sent her to school for first grade and second grade and they used Rebecca one year and bob jones one year and again just lacking those basic foundational things so when she came home for homeschooling again in third grade we had to start at ground zero and we had to go back and do a lot of basics and unlearn some of the common core math that had been implemented and really was confusing her. And so we started looking for a company that gave just a basic traditional math and I found Rod and Staff, which I really love. I actually got to speak with some of them at a homeschool convention right before I brought her home and I was able to walk through some of this and see what I really needed. Now, a caveat is that Rod and Staff um, is a Mennonite curriculum, so it does have Bible verses within the curriculum in the textbooks. Also, it is made for a classroom setting. I don't use it that way, but if you get the materials, which I'll show you here in a minute, you're going to get a teacher book and it's going to have a, quite a bit of lesson prep and things like that. I don't do any of that. You are more than welcome to if you need to. And if you struggle with math yourself, you may need to do some more of that classroom prep. Math is something that I feel fairly competent in. My husband was a high school math teacher. I took um, advanced math in high school and then elementary, how to teach elementary math in college. So I feel very confident in it. And so I don't spend a lot of time in the teacher manuals. However, if you needed it, they are there. So let's take a quick look. Now I do not have first or second grade. I did use them for my second born. Um, and we have since switched to a Charlotte Mason approach for her and I love it and it works wonderful for her. Um, but I no longer keep the first and second grade because all of my kids I try to do the Charlotte Mason style math for first and second grade. And then if it doesn't work, we'll switch, which I actually had to do this year. So my oldest has only used Rod and Staff since she came home and graduated from it and is now in pre-algebra. She went straight from their year six book to pre-algebra and has had no qualms with that. And then she will go on to regular algebra later this year. Now, my second born, it didn't work for her. She found the patterns in the rod and staff. Um, be, and so instead of memorizing them, she just like would figure out one and then find wherever it repeated. Um, and a couple other things, it just didn't work for her. Charlotte Mason style math has been a better fit for her. My third born was not doing well with Charlotte Mason math, partially because she and I are very much alike and we were having relationship issues. I need something that was a little more hands off for her. So we went back to Rod and Staff and it has been a good fit for her. Now, like I said, the Rod and Staff Teacher's Manual has lots of information for you. So when you open up a Rod and Staff um, Teacher Manual, you're gonna have the student pages. This is the work they're gonna do. And then all of this is like the classroom lesson. I don't do any of that. Um, I actually don't even pick this book up usually. You could and take parts of it, which I have done in the past, but in general, I don't usually even pick this up um, because when I'm going through, like we're gonna do the three times table, I teach her how to do that. I know or I know how to do my multiplication tables. So we talk about it and we go through it with manipulatives or we do it by hand and then I give her the work she, workbook and she goes, or the book and she goes through it. Now, Rod and Staff has great lessons to walk you through all of that if you are not competent or confident in your skills um, and it is helpful for that but I would not ever recommend anybody do the entire class lesson in a homeschool setting for one child um, it's just nonsense but um, this is helpful to have the information now these books are rather cheap so if you are not at a point where your child can look at the math problem and transfer it to another page just buy the book and write in it I'm telling you, our my oldest, her first book had a misprint in it, so they sent me a new one free, and we just used the misprint one like a workbook and then threw it away when we were done. But um, as you can see, this is a very simple, I never assign all of these assignments. Um, it's just too much. It's too much for one day. 
And so I will give some of these and we will do some orally first to kind of know what are we getting into for the day. Use it on a chalkboard or dry erase board um, to review whatever we need. And then I give her the assignment and she goes off and does the work. And this has helped our relationship <laughs> with my third born. Um, my oldest, like I said, again, I would give her a basic, this is what you're gonna do today. I'd hand her the book and she'd go. By the time she got through book six, she didn't even really need me. <laughs> so um, there are other things that you can get I have additional worksheets, which I at one point purchased for extra practice. We haven't used them. They also have um, speed drills, which I have used. Um, you can see I'm missing several here from this one. And um, those are really helpful, and they are just a one-minute time test. And we've found free ones since then that you can find online. Make up your own, whatever you want. But they do have these speed drills ready to go, and those are really great for just enforcing those basic math skills because all of math is kind of contingent on those addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division skills. We want them to get that. Um, and then the worksheet book also comes with an answer key if you need that. Now, up through third grade, there is no testing at all. Now, when you get to fourth grade, that's when you start having some testing abilities. Um, so the it's fourth grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade books have actually two teacher manuals per grade level, uh, but they are laid out ex almost exactly the same. Um, you're gonna have, um, so there's the first part of the lesson, and here's your teacher lesson over here. And then you flip the page, and I have more teaching information and the answer key right here for the rest of that page. Now on my teacher um, page, if you have really strict standards, this is gonna be helpful for you because it tells you the objective, it tells you how to prepare, and you can write all that in for whatever you need to do for your state. Um, our state doesn't have that, so I don't need to. I do appreciate, and we'll probably use with my third born, some of these oral drills, because we do want them to be able to mental, do mental math. And so I really find that helpful. Um, my third born is going into sixth grade, and she is going to be using the fourth grade book. That could be a problem for some people, but for me, it's we learn the math that we learn and we move through it as we can. So I appreciate that it doesn't say grade four on here, it's just math book four. So once you finish math book three, you go on to math book four. It doesn't matter what grade you're in. Um, and so we go through that. And then I have, so I have two teacher manuals and then the student manual. Again, we want them to try to move to writing it in there. But as you can see, that is a lengthy lesson. I am not ever going to assign that much. My kids do 20 minutes of math a day. Um, that is a Shirley Mason kind of thing. We do 20 minutes. Um, as they get older, they do more, but we try to stick to 20 minutes and um, five minutes of mental math or they'll do math drills. Um, and that was the other thing. We replaced math drills with extra math online. Um, E-X-T-R-A-M-A-T-H dot com. And that has helped them with learning their math facts. And so you can see fourth, fifth, and sixth grade all kind of follow this same pattern, but they do include tests, which I do give my children because it is helpful for them. Um, I do not time the tests and anything that they miss, I mark wrong and they go back and review with me or they do it again on their own. Um, just because, um, that we're not here to get them catch them wrong I'm here to teach them and help them grow and um, since I don't have to report anything other than attendance that's how I handle that but the tests are helpful I you can they are tear out if you only have one K going through you can tear these out but I'm cheap and so I photocopy them so that I can reuse them I'm glad I did because I wasn't going to reuse them um, because only my oldest was using it and uh, we turned around and needed it so I'm grateful that I saved those and you have book five and book six and like I said my oldest is 14 she just finished book six after having to go back because of life and so she but she is a hundred percent ready for pre-algebra she is doing a short pre-algebra which I will talk about at another time this there are some differences in these math curriculum than others you're not going to have quite as much cyclical but you do have a built-in review in each lesson and you have it in those chapter reviews um, at the end of each chapter, you'll find a review lesson before you take your test. And I usually space these out over two to three days. So she would do most of this one day, most of this the next day, and then um, and then she would be ready for the exam. Sorry, that was the final, so that was probably not a good example. but um, And space it out because, again, I'm not looking for an end date. I'm looking for mastery of the skills. 
So I hope that this gives you a little insight into the Rod and Staff curriculum. If you have any questions, let me know. Regarding grades one and two, they are wonderful. They are workbook based, easy to use, and I do recommend them if you want a traditional math setting. It's just not something we use anymore. Um, otherwise, I highly recommend this, especially if you have an independent child who wants to learn on their own because you can give them the basic concepts and then let them leave them alone. Um, and that has actually been a saving grace because of relationship issues with me and one of my children. It also was wonderful for my very independent, motivate, self-motivated learner for my oldest. And so we will continue to keep these in our home and use them for those who have benefits. So I hope this has been a help. If you have any questions or comments, leave a, leave a note below. I'll try to link um, the company that I buy through um, in the links below. Also note that you can get them cheaper if you call. Um, they're very old fashioned and they will send you a catalog even. Um, and there's all that that goes into it. But I've bought online. I've called and ordered it from them both ways. Either way, it is a very cheap math curriculum and it hits all the things that you need for those different elementary school ages. All right, have a great day and let us go forth and serve the Lord and our families wholeheartedly.